Michael Kay and David Cohn. Well, thank you, Bob. Well, it took about four hours, but it was fun. Yeah, hey, more the merrier. It's opening day. Why not? You know, we waited a day because of the rain out. So, right. yeah, why not? Let's stay here. 99 days of a lockout. Everybody was hungering for baseball, and they got 11 innings of it today and a come-from-behind victory for the Yankees. And things didn't look good right away. Uh, Garrett Cole seemed like he was taken aback a little bit by the opening uh, day ceremonies that didn't come out in a rhythm. Yeah, he was obviously anxious. His rhythm was way off in the first inning. Walked the first batter on four pitches and just took him about three or four hitters to kind of get settled in. He gave up three in the first. And from that point, that was all they got, though. And he progressively got better, even though he only went four innings. Big home run by Anthony Rizzo. I thought that changed the entire tenor of the crowd because after the home run by Devers and then the third run on the J.D. Martinez hit, it just felt like the crowd got unplugged. But when Rizzo hit that two-run home run, two run home run in the bottom of the first inning, it was back again. Well, that was huge. It got the crowd back into it. And the look that Rizzo put into the dugout after that two-run shot really said a lot. It's like, uh, we're going to punch back today. We're not going to allow this to happen. And that did get him right back in the game and gave him some hope. And his, in his interview on the field, Josh Donaldson said to Meredith Morakovic, we never thought, obviously, well, this is over because they kept battling back. So once it became 3-3 on the uh, the Stanton home run, well, then it was 4-3 Red Sox, and then it was time for D.J. LeMahieu to deliver a big-time home run. It was. It was the turning point in the game, and D.J. LeMahieu just came at a spot when it looked like it was a little bit dead. Garrett Whitlock was dominating the game at that point. He's got great stuff. He was a breakout reliever last year. It looked like he was stretched out. He might even finish this game with a one-run lead, and D.J. shot him to right. It was a porch job in Yankee Stadium, but from last year to this year, for D.J. LeMahieu to get healthy again, start to drive the ball again, it was a big home run, and he showed a lot of emotion, too, did D.J., that we don't see all that often. I'll tell you one thing. I've always said that live sports is the greatest reality show in the world. I mean, you could have shows like Survivor, but that's not real. This is real, and this had so many different storylines, so the Yankees were down to their final out again, and it had a chance to be a, a tough loss for them, but Glenn Labor Torres, the guy who was not starting today, who had to be told by Aaron Boone yesterday, you're not in the lineup, he pinch hit and got a big sack fly. Yeah, you talk about a happy ending for, you know, you know that he was down, not starting. You know, Glaber's a proud kid. He's had a lot of success in this game already at a young age. To see his name not in the lineup, you know, was a blow. But Aaron Boone took the opportunity at the right time to get him in there, get him feeling good about himself. And then also, you know, an unsung hero, Michael King. Got to throw some shout out to him. His stuff was absolutely filthy today. He's going to be a big part of this uh, this Yankee team and that bullpen down there. A real bright spot today was Michael King. And on the big hit that won it, a couple of new Yankees. Uh, Isaiah kind of for scored. He was the uh, the ghost runner. He scored the run when Josh Donaldson got the hit. And for Donaldson, his first game as a Yankee, the big trade, the big acquisition by the Yankees during the offseason. A 36-year-old former MVP uh, winner in the American League in 2015. He delivered the goods. Two hits and uh, six at bats, but the last hit was the big one. It was a big one, and if he had he not been batting in the leadoff hole, he wouldn't have had that opportunity. So I think he's going to grow into it. He's never batted leadoff. When he was asked the question by Meredith Morakovic, he's like, eh, I'll do whatever the team needs, but you can tell that he was a little uncomfortable with it. Well, maybe he will get comfortable in that leadoff hole, and boy, that's that's something when you can when you can be a leadoff hitter in this lineup and still come up in, in big spots and in, in big RBI situations. And finally, the Yankees have raised some eyebrows, obviously, when they decided to carry 16 pitchers and 12 position players, and they needed those pitchers today. Eight of them, uh, the starter, and then seven out of the bullpen, and David Mentor, Michael King, with two strong innings to pick up the win. And the Yankees win on opening day. What a better way to start a season, and especially when you do it against your arch rivals, Bob. Michael Coney, thank you for that. We're